Hey guys, welcome to the 78th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the picture box control and how to use the image class. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a picture box. So, just go over to your toolbox and drag a picture box onto your main form. I'm just going to go ahead and resize this picture box so it's rather large. Also, I'm going to change the size mode, so in order to do that, just go over and click this little triangle in the upper right hand corner, and you can just change your size mode. And the size mode is basically just how the image will be displayed in the picture box. And I'm just going to change it to center image, so that when an image is opened, the image will be displayed in the center of the picture box, and the image won't be resized or anything like that, so it'll look just perfect. Um, these dotted line or this dashed line around your picture box indicates that the picture box is invisible. So when we debug here, we cannot see our picture box. In order to change that, just select the picture box and go over to the properties panel and uh, change the border style. You can either change it to fixed single, which will put a black line around your picture box, or you can change the border style to fixed 3D, which will give the illusion that the picture box is 3D. I prefer a uh, fixed single though. Once you have your picture box all set up, just go ahead and double click on your button. Under your button click, make sure that you have an open file dialog and an if statement checking to see if the user actually selects a file in the open file dialog. In order to set um, picture box 1's image equal to something, we're going to do picture box 1 dot image location equals and then the path to the image. And the path to the image will be whatever the uh, or the open file dialog's file name is. So we'll just do OFD dot file name. So now whatever um, image that the user opens in the open file dialog will be displayed in the picture box. So now when we debug, we should get our uh, open file dialog. Yep. Now if we were to select this image, it should be displayed in this picture box right here. Yep. If you click on uh, this falling guy right here, you should get that displayed in this picture box as well. Yep. You can also use the image class to do this. For example, we could create a new image here. I'll just call it image. And we'll set it equal to image dot from file. And this will do the exact same thing as the image location property. So we can just get it um, from a file name. So we just copy this file name right here. Oops, paste it right there. And this should have the same result as the previous code. This is just a different way to do it. Also, you'd probably be using this only if you... Oh, I'm going to set the image equal to it. But you would probably only be using this method if you were trying to set multiple picture boxes equal to the same image, or if you were trying to uh, save an image for later use. So now, when we debug here, we should get this exact same thing we did before. Open it, we get the C sharp image, we open the fallen guy image, we get, should get the fallen guy image. Yep. You can also use the uh, image location property to get the image of a URL. So as long as you that uh, the URL leads to an image and not like a whole web page, then this will work. So we just have this Google right here, we just copy this image or the URL to this image and we just paste it as this image location and we should get the exact same or we should get the uh, Google image inside of this picture box right here. Yep. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on using the image class and using the picture box control. So see you guys.